This is a books. One books. I need to read more book because my grammar is completely sideways. But and not as sideways as the moral of this book. Mr. Nosy. There we are. Mr. Nosy the book. Now as you might know in the Mr. Men books, they all have things that are themselves. Uh, what I mean is uh, that Mr. Greedy is greedy. Mr. Happy is happy. Mr. Nosy is nosy. And there he is. And in a majority of the books, they lose this little trait. Like Mr. Bump. Uh, his bumpiness, which is terrible, actually in the end gives him a job and he bangs into trees and injures himself but manages to get an apple every time. So yes, he has become useful to society but covered in bruises. Mr. Messy, at the beginning of Mr. Messy, he's messy. At the end of Mr. Messy, they clean him and he's a completely different person. So, so the book completely destroys itself by the end. Mr. Silly is silly. Mr. Chatterbox talks all the time. Hello, that's me. Mr. Jelly turns into a blancmange. Now, I don't know. I haven't read Mr. Jelly. I think he's just scared all the time and then he isn't scared all the time. So he still is a jelly, but he doesn't shake. Mr. Daydream is just a dream. But Mr. Nosy, I have an issue with this book. Okay, if you might remember it, Mr. Nosy, he peers through keyholes, not in a pervy way, and he looks at people's letters that he shouldn't, which is a bit naughty. Okay. And this person objects to it. They said, something must be done. We must stop this, Mr. Nosy. Well, what can we do? The lady says, oh, I don't know what we can do. My voice is far too high. And then this man says, wait a minute. I've got a moustache and I've got a brain. Both these can save the day. And as you might remember, what they do is they set up secret things that will intrigue Mr. Nosy's nosiness. And you know that he sneaks in to have a look and splat, he gets covered in paint. Ha 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 ha. And then he looks over the wall and <laughs> he gets a nose peg on his nose. Oh, that's really good. And then he gets hit on the nose with the hammer. A little bit too far. I don't know. Peg, maybe it hurts a little bit, smarts a bit. Paint might scrape off a hammer. Are you green? Have you been involved in an accident that wasn't your fault? Then all your friends are vicious bastards. Yes, they've taken Mr. Nosy's nose and they have repeatedly abused it. Then the next bit in the story you might remember is he's creeping along the woods and he hears the sound of a saw. A saw. A big saw. Now, if Mr. Nosy follows his instincts, they are going to saw his nose off. They are going to saw his nose off. And they are going to laugh about him. They are injuring him. I mean, seriously, what I want is Mr. Nosy to sort of go, is, is creep round the other way where they're not expecting him. And there they are with the saw. Excuse me. Yes? What, what are you you're doing? Are you lying in wait for me? No. Are you... You were planning to saw my nose off. Yeah, to teach you about being nosy. But that's really violent. I mean, that's really, really unpleasant. Seriously, you were going to smash my bones and rip tendons out of my nasal passages to prove a point. Um, y yeah. I think Mr. Nosy has a serious case to call the police. Excuse me, these people are attacking me. I am being physically assaulted by these strangers. I mean, yes, I admit to being a little bit curious to their activities, but in this world of Facebook and Twitter, where people expose their little bits of personal details every day, I'm only having a little, little look. This guy's on Facebook over there. He's on Twitter. He's allowing everybody to see his stuff, but me, I just sort of stick my nose over a fence. Bastards! But obviously, Mr. Hargreaves was thinking that might be a little bit too harsh, so... Um... I'm Mr. Nosy. I demand justice. 